friends, I'm Mrs. Brulette, and I'm so excited to be starting the year with you guys. Um, I'm going to start by reading two stories to you. Um, normally, we would get together in the classroom, play with some of the toys, hear these stories, but we aren't able to do that this year. Um, but I was glad you were able to drop your stuff off with me today so I can get it all ready for our first day of school. Um, but I still wanted to share some of my favorite back to school stories. So the first story we're going to read today is called Monster Garden. And this story is by Daniel J. Mahoney and pictures by Jeff Kaminsky. Look at all the different types of monsters that go to this one school. Hmm. There we go, Monster Garden. Tippy tip toe. Grrr. Oh, hi, Patrick. Did I scare you? Um, no, not really, said Kevin. Not even a little bit, Patrick asked. Nope, Kevin replied. I'm in big trouble then, because I have to be scary by tomorrow, said Patrick. It's one of the rules for going into Monster Garden. A first grader told me, well, you came to the right place, said Kevin. I'm an expert on being scary. I bet I'll be the scariest kid in the whole class. You just need a little practice. So here's all this practice. His tongue way out with his uh, fingers around his eyes coming in from the top. Wow. All right, they got all their practice in. Let's see. I think you're ready, Kevin said. Try giving Snowball a scare. Oh, that must be Snowball. All right, let's see how it goes. Uh, maybe we should try something else, said Kevin. So it looks like Snowball turned out to be a little scarier than they thought. Let's go to my house and spy on my sister and her friend, Kevin said. I'm an expert at being scary, but those girls are really scary. So the sister's scary. Oh, there they are. They don't look so scary. They're just playing. Maybe pretend she's a nurse. She's being a fairy or princess. Hmm. Here they go. Push, he's like pushing him. Ooh, so scary. We forgot to scream. The girls cried. <sighs> Looks like they're laughing. Ay, ay, ay. Kevin took Patrick to his room. I know where to get some good ideas for the first day of Monster Garden, Kevin told his friend. The boys looked at the picture. The boys looked at pictures of scary monsters. Just do what they're doing, Kevin suggested. Eh, looks pretty easy. Easy enough. Oh, I can see upside down. That says boo, scary, growl, cackling. Hmm. Patrick knew there were things that should come to him naturally, like showing his claws and growling and flashing his fangs and raising his arms, but in what order? What was the right way for him to be scary? Are you ready for the first day of Monster Garden? Patrick asked Kevin. Of course, said Kevin. I'm an expert at being scary, remember? You just need a little more practice. That evening before dinner, Patrick practiced and practiced. Tomorrow's the big day, buddy, said Patrick's dad. Your first day of Monster Garden. Is everything all right, honey? His mother asked. You didn't eat all your lizard loaf. Ew, lizard loaf. Oh, yuck, it looks like worms and snails. Ew, they are monsters, I guess. But look at his face. I can tell by looking at his face that Something's wrong. At bedtime, Patrick's mother laid out his new backpack. What if I don't like my teacher? Patrick asked. What if I have to go to the bathroom? What if I'm not scary enough? His mother gave him a big hug. It'll be fine, she whispered. Just be yourself. The next day, 
All the new monster gardeners kissed their parents goodbye and headed into their new classroom. They met their teacher, Mr. Goop. Everyone was ready to start their day. Well, almost everyone. Uh-oh, who's not? There's Mr. Goop. Here they go. Oh, he's still hanging onto his daddy's leg. Boo! Oh, it worked. Oh, but it also scared the dad. Whoa, Patrick, you scared me. You're probably the scariest kid in our whole class. Really? Patrick asked. Totally, Kevin replied. Thanks, Kevin. I couldn't have done it without you. I love Monster Garden, said Kevin. Yeah, it's super scary, said Patrick. High five. And there's a bunch of pictures. The end. Oh, I'm glad he finally figured it out just to be himself. All right, our last story for today is called The Night Before Kindergarten by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Julie Durrell. The night Before Kindergarten. Twas the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. They tossed and they turned about in their beds while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. That happens to me too. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed into their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten would soon be there. I love looking at the pictures. You can see them sleeping and their closets ready. Mom's playing the piano, dad's reading a book, backpacks by the door. In the morning, it came. School starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids posed for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. Sounds like things we all do on the first day. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Look at them go. They're all getting in their cars. Some kids brought blankets and their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, you're big kids. Wow. Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. The parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be okay. Looks like they're all pretty happy. Maybe that person's a little afraid, but I bet you they'll love it. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the kids to stay a while. So they're all sitting, they get to hear a story from their teacher. Sounds familiar, kind of what we're doing. The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps. But where were the beds for mid-morning nap? I don't know. Do you think they get to take a nap? They colored and painted and played Simon Says, then tumbled and skipped and stood on their Good job. They sing silly songs from beginning to end. Within just a minute, each kid had a friend. Yay. Lots of friends made in kindergarten. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. Hmm. What could the surprise be? Ooh, I love her headband they made and the crown. Very cool. When what to her wondering eyes should appear, but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears. Their noses so sniffly, their eyes red and wet. 
This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. Aw, they're so happy. Their, their kitties are having fun. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug, then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door of the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. Awesome. All right, friends, thanks for watching, and I cannot wait for our first day of school. See you then.